Today we're looking at a late 1870s photograph of Plymouth Hoe, with particular interest in the Camera Obscura and Drake's Island. It's three minutes long, so enjoy. This is a very fine photograph of Plymouth Hoe, taken from an original scan of the original Albumum print. Of immediate interest is the Camera Obscura. If you've never seen one of these for real, there's one in Edinburgh, there's one in Bristol, and I believe there may be one at Mount Wise. I did write to them to see if it was still operational, but I had no reply. You can see here, there's a, a production on at the Theatre Royal, apparently done by a gentleman called Henry J. Strain, Lancashire Lass. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Now, in the two arched windows here, I'd love to know what this says. I can make out the word Plymouth in each one. The left-hand one, I can see bunts, maybe. And in the right-hand one, do I see golding or something like that? I wonder what that's advertising. And of course here is the sign that says camera obscura because a lot of holiday makers wouldn't have known what it is. I would love to know what words are written underneath there. We've got camera obscura with two words underneath. wonder what that could say. The lady here, I wonder if she's the manageress or the owner. It's quite well known that at the time it was run by a lady. Is this her? The gentlemen here seem to be sitting in the midday sun, love their hats, and they're at the bottom of a very tall flagpole. Now this flagpole appears in lots of Plymouth photographs of this era. It's quite substantial and very tall. Here we have a row of houses that is superbly designed. It's still there today. I think that this would be probably called Great Western Road. And these houses today are just about exactly as they are there. They're a mixture of bedsits, hotels and apartments, and they are superb. Across the road here are the remains of the quarrying operation that was taking place at West Ho. Down here is today the waterfront. Before the waterfront, it was the Great Western Yacht Club. Before that, it was a swimming place, uh, a base. If you notice, there's no West Hope here. So a lot of swimming took place from here and Rusty Anchor. They provided teas, coffees, etc, etc. I would also think possibly some boat trips left from here as well. The only thing that's not there today is the large chimney. Perhaps that was used to keep the place warm in the winter. Today, you can walk along the whole road here, I call it the whole road, along the front, and you can do a left here, walk above Rusty Anchor, in front of these houses, and come out near Mill Bay. Going across the sound, we see lovely ships here. This gentleman sitting here really sets off the picture, doesn't he? And here we got Drake's Island. Number one, no trees. Trees only come recently, allegedly in the 1960s. Here is absolutely none at all. There's still a lot of interest. Just here is the incline that was uh, built to facilitate the pulling up of the uh, guns that were embarked on the uh, shoreline uh, up to the gun emplacements, the casements that are here. It's at quite a steep angle that must have been difficult. We can see here the earthworks of the batteries. In between the spaces would be guns, the earthworks protecting them. And the same here, look. Of course, there's a lot more armament on Drake's Island than just we see here. Here, Island House, still there today. Lovely place. I have very happy memories of spending evenings there back in the 1980s with Eric Parkinson, who was the warden of the Drake's Island. 
What a superb house. On the right, we have the soldiers' accommodation, all very much as it is today. And let's not forget the efforts of the local firm who are trying so hard to restore this and already have managed to achieve regular public access to the Drake's Island. And that has not been possible for years. So hats off to them. We can see in the olden days, exposures took a long time. These boats must have been at anchor, but this boat here was not keeping still and it's a blur. What a superb image of the time. Hope you find it of interest. Thank you very, very much.